I got started into ice climbing after I got into rock climbing. The first time I legitly went ice climbing, um, I was with my cousins in New Hampshire and we um, tackled one of the classic New England ice climbs of um, the Northeast and it was a it was a blast because it was a climb that I probably shouldn't have been on as my first ice climb, but it was a great time and immediately afterwards I was hooked. Why I like to ice climb is kind of a tough question because um, a lot of times you're just kind of being miserable. You know, oftentimes your hands become leather because they're cold. You know, oftentimes when you're standing there belaying your partner, you're, all you're doing is just focusing on watching your partner and staying warm. So in a lot of ways it's, it's kind of a, it's a cruel kind of fun and I, I wonder myself why I ice climb and why I do this. As far as unique experiences out on the ice have gone, um, ice breaks and shatters and it, um, just this past winter I hit into a really um, brittle piece of ice a couple hundred feet off the ground um, on a climb and took a giant microwaved sized piece of ice uh, straight to the face. Immediately um, there was just blood everywhere and I ended up getting 20 stitches. Ice climbing is kind of an odd concept. You're ascending up a wall of liquid that's temporarily frozen in time. It's, it's really quite unique. You're climbing up a wall that is typically flowing and free and um, it's pretty cool um, because you, you're getting to see some of nature's artwork that's very unique, these large frozen bodies of water. When I'm out ice climbing, you know, you're not curing cancer when you're out ice climbing. You're not really benefiting society at all. But I would like to think that the lessons that I learn out ice climbing and rock climbing and, and the work ethics that I gain from going ice climbing are kind of something that I can apply towards the rest of my life. Um, you know, you have to be prepared, you have to be in shape, you have to be um, ready to you know, deal with um, any kind of conditions that are being put out at you. When you, you finish a climb, you're getting to the top of a mountain or a cliff and you just take a look around and there's just, you seem to appreciate everything a little bit more. Um, like the trees, the, the mountains, the, the sky, Everything about it is just, you seem to soak it in a little bit more, it becomes a little bit more pure. Oftentimes when I'm out in nature, whether it's even just driving, and you like look out and you see something really beautiful, you almost have a calling towards it. You want to be a part of it. You want to embrace, you know, what that beauty is. And the best way that I can think of doing that is just by putting yourself out there and into it. In, in this form, it's ice climbing. You, know, you see these really gorgeous areas, these amazing landscapes um, of ice, snow, trees, mountains, and you just can't help but be inspired by it. And so I naturally just want to just be a part of it.